How's it going, everyone? We are at Anderson's La Costa Nursery over off of La Costa Avenue, and it is not Armstrong's. This is Anderson. So we're back in this little corner that has all of their veggies and fruits, and uh, they even have a little demo raised bed garden with some carrots growing and some other greens. Um, but this is a great place if you do not want to grow from seed or you don't like the seeds that uh, we might have provided or you really like some of the seeds we provided and want more of. It's a great place with great staff um, that you can get your plants. So typically we like to go for six packs. Um, they're just more economical um, and uh, you, get, uh, you get a bigger volume than say these four inch pots. These four inch pots are usually the herbs that come in these. Um, so you'll have to break those up. They're a little bit harder to put into the net cups and the hub, um, but we'll show you what to do. So again, this is like a four inch um, versus a six pack of, of plants. So we recommend going for the six pack of plants, but say if you really want snap peas and they don't have a six pack, um, you know, go ahead and get the four inch. And there's like three or four plants inside of this. So we'll show you what to do as well. And then they have their herbs over here. Um, they have some tarragon. Uh, they have oregano varieties. They have some really cool stuff. Um, again, these are in the four inch, four inch pots. So a little bit harder to put into your hub. Um, we're gonna collect up some stuff. I think we're gonna go heavy on the greens and uh, bring them back to the hub, show you guys what to do. And yeah, so again, we're at Anderson's La Costa Nursery. We'll put the info um, in the link below. Um, so we are going to continue to ship seeds with our uh, bi-monthly packages. Um, you don't have to use them, but you can use them. We're still gonna ship, ship seeds that are in season. Um, really, really good variety. It's really a uh, good seed uh, source that we use, um, but you know, we understand people want to start quicker. They don't want to wait from seed or they just want to go to the nursery, pick something up. So that's great. We're going to show you how to do that today. Um, we Earlier, we went to Anderson's and La Costa Nursery on La Costa Avenue, um, not Armstrong's. I'll repeat, not Armstrong's, um, even though I'm sure some people will still ask where the Armstrong's is. If this is Anderson's. Um, and the reason I mention that is because not all nurseries is the same, or not all nurseries are the same. Um, it depends on who they get their plants from. There's a lot of growers in Southern California. They tend to have really good sources for their, um, for their vegetables and herbs. So the two varieties are these bigger, larger pots that are four inch, and these are typically herbs or tomatoes, stuff like that. And then these really economical six packs, which we love as well. So the six packs are pretty, pretty awesome because they come in these very convenient sizes. Um, so usually how we do living plants, if we're not going from seed, so we'll put our wick through. So we'll squeeze the basket, put our wick through like we would a seed. And typically um, this amount of soil for this size plant, this plant has used up all the nutrients that are in this soil. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and shake off a lot of the soil that's on here and try not to damage the roots too much. Here, I'll show you. So what I'll do is I'll just kind of crumble, crumble and shake and what, you're, or what you see is just this root system with some of the soil left. So use the soil that we give you that still has nutrition in it. Put a good base layer, base layer, put the plants in and then you're just gonna wanna add and compact soil on the top. So this soil has new beneficial bacteria, new colonies of mycorrhiza and fungus um, that will help the roots out and uh, more nutrition in it. So now we are good to go. That one is good to plant. Um, so we're gonna go ahead, bring it over and we are gonna plant it in our large hub. Um, and then the second way to go, if you're not, if you're not going with the six packs, say, you know, they, they, there's just not the variety or the type of plant that you want available in the six packs, um, then you have your four inch net pod. So the only bummer about these is that while they are great plants, you can see the size difference. This does not fit in this. 
And there's a lot of roots here. So we can't simply shake off the dirt. This plant's been growing for a while. So what we have to do is typically break it down into smaller pieces if we can. So we're lucky that with fennel, there's a lot of stalks. And so what we'll do is we'll shake off a lot of the dirt and there you have a root ball as one piece. So this could probably make up four or five plants. Um, and again, we're just gonna do the same process of adding our wick, adding a little bit of the soil that we give you, putting the root ball in, and then topping it off with more, more of the soil that has the nutrients and the beneficial bacteria in it, and there you go. So you could probably do a few more of these out of this big fennel. Um, and yeah, we have our fennel that's ready to go. So that is typically how we recommend uh, going to a nursery, picking out plants. Again, these are gonna be more expensive. You get a few uses out of them though. Um, they're a little messier, a little harder to deal with. The six packs are great, economical, great size, easy to break the soil off of and can fill up, you know, you can fill up a hub with four six packs, which is great. Um, again, we're gonna continue to ship seeds. Uh, the seeds that we do ship you are uh, all non-GMO, um, and we try and get heirloom varieties when we can. Um, you know, at the nursery, you can't, they don't guarantee that all the plants are non-GMO. You have to really look at the tags and make sure that they are. Um, Anderson's does a pretty good job with their, with their sources. Um, but yeah, it's all about being vigilant, read the tags, and you should be good to go. Um, if you guys have any questions, let us know. We're going to continue to ship you supplies, because even if you don't use our seeds, you're going to want the wicks, the soil, and the nutrients that we do provide. Um, so a lot of good options for you.